in this tutorial I'm going to show you a super efficient model of how to create a stunning graphical presentations in Revit. And I will be using the work in progress file, so you will see that you don't need to have a perfectly done model to be able to create something like this. And it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or if you're a pro, this tutorial is going to show you some, some necessary tips and tricks which are going to help you to level up and to enhance your graphical presentations and what's more important, you will see how you can create and use the filters and how you can create a different graphic styles and presentations in just a couple of clicks. And just before I move to Revit, I would like to invite you to join our community in school. It's completely free. And there we are going to have a free Revit workshop from 16th to 23rd of September. So let's move to Revit. I'm in Revit as you can see, and in front of me is our work in progress file. So the first thing I'm going to do will be to create a new 3D view. We'll rename it. And this view I'm going to use for my presentation purpose. I will just orient that view a little bit. And then I can save the orientation. So now I will open visibility graphics and I will turn off top solid because I'm, do I'm not going to use it at all. And then I'm also going to turn off grids. I don't know if we have some of them here. Levels. And let's see, I can turn off scope boxes. So this, this is well. And what I'm going to do now will be to displace element. So the first one is going to be the roof. Just select it, go here to displace elements, and then just drag this up. Then I will take this wall, we'll move it by side, and I can take this wall and I'm going to move it to the other side. So I think that something like this is fine. And by the way, if you would like to create to, to make some fine tuning about the rotation, you can anytime go here and unlock the view. It will remain like this. You can just adjust it a little bit. Maybe something like this is better. And then I'm going to, let's say, save orientation again. And in this case, I can also select our displaced view and displaced element, sorry. And I can move it a little bit back, for example. So I think that this seems fine regarding the orientation, but there is one thing I would like to create here and to do. And I would like to cut this from the back. So I turn on the section box here and I'm going to drag this blue arrow and this is okay so what i'm going to do now is and what i would like to get actually is to have the cut like this but i don't want to have this section box visible so you see that it's on here but i would like to have it not visible so i will go to annotation categories and then i'm gonna go here to the section box and turn it off and yes, what I would like to do now is not to go to visibility graphics and to do the changes here or just to select the elements and then to go and hide it. Actually, I would like to create filters and I would like to show you how you can uh, with the using filters and understanding its power, create different views and create different presentations in a couple of clicks. And in this purpose, uh, in this presentation, I will just need two very simple filters. So to make it go to view filters. And in this case, I'm just going to create Architeasy hide. That's the first filter. And in this case, we are going to hide this part here. So we, you see that we have some walls and floors. So for the hidden elements, I will pick the walls and floors. We'll click apply. And then I'm going to create Architeasy transparent. And in this case, we also have the wall and we have the roof and we'll, we will see if we need to add something more later on. So just pick the wall and then let's add the roofs. And now we'll open visibility graphics and I'm just going to add our filters. We'll click OK. So everything remains the same. Everything is fine. And what I would like to do now is to, let's say, I will just select those four walls and I will create the comment height. 
I will copy this one because it's quite important to have the same name, uh, the same capital letters as well. And then I'm going to select the floor and I'm going to add the same comment to the floor. And as you can see, we have the floor here as well. So I can just now go to this side here to the arrow and then pick hide. And I'm going to select all those floors. I don't need this one. And I'm also going to add this height as a, as a comment. And then I'm going to go to filters and I'm going to select this height filter and I'm going to create a rule here. So I would like all categories I picked here. So it's floors and walls to be filtered by the comment. And that comment is equal to the, to the height. So if you just click, okay. You see that nothing is changing, but if I go to visibility graphics and if I just exclude this one so it's not visible, you see that they disappeared. And let's say that this wall here, for example, I would like to be transparent. I will copy this one and I'm going to select this wall as well. And when I go to filter, and when I go to transparent, I can just create the comment equals and in this case to transparent. So we'll click OK. And as you can see that nothing is happening because in visibility graphics, I didn't add any additional settings for this filter. And if I just go here to transparency and let's say make this on nine on 90%, I'll click apply. You see that this wall became transparent and this one as well. And by the way, there is one thing I'm not lying here and I think is this realistic mode. So let's just go to texture mode. Yeah, this, this is way better. And let's see what do we have here. As I said, this is the work in progress file. So we have, the, we have this fascia. So I can turn this off as well. And by the way, we have this line. And I think that we don't need those plantings at all. So turn off lines expand the roof turn off fascia and then i can just turn off planting as a category so this is this seems well really this is okay uh, we have gutters and i'm going to add them comment transparent as well and by the way just take a look when i go to filters right now and if i go to transparent and if i just add the gutters here but this roof nothing happened to that roof because I didn't add the comment so now I selected roof and I'm going to add the comment transparent and you see that the roof became transparent as well and what we need to do is let's say to select we have this one so this is door and I need to add the comment transparent to this door, to this one as well. And now when I go to filters and when I select the transparent uh, filter, I just need to add doors as a category. And you see that this reflects, let me turn off thin lines. And again, I just need to select this one because we set the rule. And then I'm going to add it to this door as well. So in general, this seems fine. I can maybe just move this a little bit. I think this is okay. And then what we can do is to select our elements and we can add, let's say displacement pad. So you can add it from the points you like. Maybe this one I don't need here. Anyway, it's really up to you what you would like to create. I'm not going to add those here because they are blocking the view of the kitchen. And I can right now uh, adjust those windows here. And by the way, look at this. If I select this one and if I add comment transparent and do the same to this roof. And if I just go to filters 
and to our transparent filter if I add the category windows this will become transparent but by the way if I select this one and this one and if I put the comment hide if I go to filters and to the hide uh, to the hide uh, filter and if I add a window category then those windows will become hidden so it's really up to you which kind uh, which style of those two you would like to have and now comes some fine tuning about this so i will go to visibility graphics to the filters and i'm going to adjust the projection lines of our transparent elements and what i would like to suggest you is to when you are just uh, trying things just take some very strong color i'm going to take our red color here we'll click apply just to see how it works and we'll turn on thin lines so as you can see uh, we have projection lines in red while the cut line is is in in black color and if i go again here and if i put for the cut color the red one it will be red and if you don't want to have this in a different thickness you can anytime go here and change the override for the weight i see i think this is okay and what i can also do uh, right now i can let's say go here again and in this case i'm gonna place this white color <laughs> actually it's not white but it's very bright and in annotation categories for a displacement path i'm going to apply the same color and this is okay but right now if you go here to the graphic display options and if you just go to shadows and let's say turn on ambient shadows and if you go to background and go to the gradient and let's say you place this color for all three slots you got something very nice and what i promised you at the beginning that if you would like to create different views with a couple of clicks you will be able to do so so what you need to do is just to go here duplicate this view with detailing and let's just make the inverting so in this case i'm going to add this for the projection color and this for the same color for the cut like our background is but i'm going to go here to the background and i'm going to replace the background color and i forgot one more thing and that's our displace uh, pet so let's make it let's fix it so yeah you see and by the way uh, if if I just go here to the filter and I don't like transparency of 90 I can anytime go and fix it make it uh, with to have less value for example so it's really up to you how you would like to present this one and let's say that you would like to have some stronger car stronger colors you can again go to duplicate make the third view and in this case I'm gonna let's say place this yellow color for a background but here I can add I can add this blue green so completely different presentation completely different views in a just couple of clicks as I promised at the beginning as I promised, this was quite simple, and if you would like to level up your graphical presentations in Revit, just take a look at this video. Thank you very much for watching.